Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? It's Thursday, what's up y'all? How are y'all? What are y'all doing this weekend? I got a little bit of something, you know, playing this weekend. I'm really excited about it. I'm not gonna talk about it until this weekend because it's a surprise. But I'm turning up, that's all y'all did that out. I'm turning up, I'm getting out of here, I'm getting my life. I keep saying I'm getting my life, but that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm just like picking up pieces and doing the things that the old man used to do. Cause right now, I'm just like high off life. Like I'm so excited about the future. I feel like I'm the type of person that needs some type of incentive. Like I need some type of future. I need something to look forward to. If I'm not going to work every day, because right now, as you guys probably already have seen, since I've moved from my old house to this house, I am now a full-time vlogger. So it's like, in a sense, it's kind of like surreal. Like, okay, so I'm really doing this right now. Like, I'm really, really doing this. Before, I would like work from home and do little odd jobs or whatever, and I was a social media marketer. But now, now I am a full-time vlogger. It's a great accomplishment and achievement, a feeling, because I put a lot of work, I put a lot of dedication, I put a lot of my soul into my channel. So. It feels great to be able to do that and to have the funds to do that and to be able to put myself into something that I love and also um, the achievements of like 100k and things like that that is like a work achievement if kind of in a way but I don't see YouTube as work for me because it's like an outlet that I use to express myself help others um, educate others talk about my life so I really don't see it as a job but it is what it is. I'm a full-time vlogger, and this is the first time me actually coming out and saying I'm a full-time vlogger, but I felt like it was obvious at this point in my life because moving from one city to the next, even though what I did was online and I worked at home, I was only able to do it in that area. So now I'm moving to a little, I mean, it's around the same area, but it's still like not the area that I was living in before, if you know what I mean. So the area that I'm moving in doesn't have my job there. So I wasn't able to do all that. So I just decided when we moved here on January 15th that I wasn't gonna do it anymore. So I stopped January 15th. So I've been a full-time vlogger January, f um, a month and a half. But the bad part about it is I haven't been vlogging. How you gonna be a full-time vlogger, Craig? And you ain't been doing your job. You gonna get fired on your day off. That's what I've been telling myself. Like, you gotta get back into your dreams. You gotta get back into your routine. So, coming March 15th, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start daily vlogging again. As soon as I get into my new house, that is the goal. I'm gonna be daily vlogging again. I'm gonna be letting you guys in on every single little bit and aspect of my life again. Um, and I'm gonna do this. Like, I'm gonna get this situation, this life situation <laughs> together. Um, vlogging for me is just something that I enjoy doing. It just makes me happy. Like, when people say, why do you put your life on YouTube, like your whole life's on YouTube, especially older people, they just don't get it. Like this is 2017, new generation, new jobs. We're making our own way, paving our own money, coin, steps. I live here. So people, a lot of older people don't get the whole social media wave, the whole social media job wave, the whole how you making money doing nothing but talking, girl. They don't get it. So when I tell people I'm full time vlogger, they look at me like, er, you're lying, right? And then they're like, but the price is your privacy. Now let's back up a little bit. My privacy is my privacy. But I've always been such an open person. You can ask any of my friends. Once they meet me, I will tell you my whole life story. Like, I will tell you everything. I will lay it out on the table for you, girl. Like, yes, when I was three, I got chicken pox. Like, you're going to know everything about me if you're going to be my friend. So, I just put the way that I go through life, which was being very, very open, I put that into YouTube. And then I thought also, hey, Misty. You could help people. People could watch you and your mistakes and your life and your trials and tribulations. And they could either A, go down the same path and figure it out themselves. Or be like, hey, Ming went through this. Let me go down the yellow brick road instead of the black one. Because when she went down the black one, she almost died from the plague. Okay. I feel like it's helpful. 
showing my life if there's not a lot of vloggers on here doing that it's helpful for people to be able to go and see somebody some brown girl that looks just like you who's doing the same thing as you're doing or who went through the same things you're, you went through and this is what's happening or if i'm if i'm going through it at that very second y'all get to see how life is like this is life this is real life life is ups and downs sideways twists twirls cornrows life is it's just that so for me to privatize privatize did i just make up a word i'm about to put down the urban dictionary for me to do that to myself and to my channel i feel stupid because if i'm okay with showing my private life no one else should be in our feelings about it because hey girl am i sitting here like do you know about becky from the corner store you know what happened to her and her baby daddy? No, I'm talking about myself. So Becky, back, 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 Becky. Don't be upset for me dishing out my own day. That's all I gotta say. This is me and me being real and 110% honest. And I'm gonna continue to be me. So guess what, y'all? She's back. And no, I don't mean in a negative way. Like I said, I'm trying to be more positive on my channel. So she's back as in I'm gonna talk about myself and I'm gonna talk about my family and I'm gonna talk about whatever I wanna talk about on my channel because you know what? This channel is the Bells Plus One. It's about the Bells plus that other one. And I'm gonna enjoy life. So if you're not subscribed, you better go ahead and subscribe right now, girl, cause you're not gonna wanna miss this. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Get your tea, get your kiki key key with your girlfriends, sip, talk about me if you want to, whatever, but I'm going to do me and that's that but um I don't even know where I was going with all this I just wanted to tell y'all that I was a full-time vlogger and that was really it earlier today Uriah gave me roses and a card we had gotten to an argument he irritated my soul made me really really want to strangle him he was asleep I had a pillow looking at him like should I do I want to go to jail today no not today put the pillow down girl put the pillow down me put the pillow down don't smother him don't do it. Yeah, he brought me flowers and a card, and the card just said like really nice. We got me flowers and a card because we got into a big argument last night, taking us out, I guess, for the two hours that he has, the free time he has. So I like a mess. So this is what I'm going to look like today. Don't judge me because I'm gonna try to take my makeup. I want to look beat and cute walking around and doing whatever we do, but I don't know how that's gonna go, and I'm half asleep, so we'll see. Back out. Yeah. Everybody's coming. Nobody want to claim him. Right is all the way at the top. What are you doing? Bye bye. Go get your friend a hug. She's over there. Say bye bye. Say bye. That was nice of him, and um, he had a little free time, so he took me and me to the play area at McDonald's because that's the closest thing to us, right? Right where we are at his grandma's house is the closest thing to us. Um, and Chuck E. Cheese was a little ways, so he was like, why not just go to the play area and run around? And she was running around. She met her little friends and stuff. That it was so cute. So that was fun. Um, I looked a whole hot mask. I didn't have time to like be her face. And y'all know I was irritable. Like, uh, I gotta go out looking regular, smegular, dagular. She's not a normal girl. It's a beat girl. But it was all right. I went out, hung out, had fun with the fam. And then we came back and now we're really not doing nothing. I did like a get ready with me video to get you guys abreast of what was going on in my life. Like an update kind of thing. If you guys have not seen it, click the information bubble, wherever that bubble shall be in this video. Go watch it, check it out. And let's get into the vlog for today. Uh, what are you doing? I want to get that with my kids. With your kids? They're your kids? Yeah. Oh. You tuck them in bed? Yeah. Oh. Like Are you watching on, something on your tablet? Yeah. What is it? Bali. Bali. Does it cross 
Bobby. Oh, Barbie. Ooh. What's all over your shirt? What you got all over your shirt? You got stuff all over you. Oh, my bad. It's okay, guys. What is it? Mmm. I see it. Well, while she's in here relaxing and shellaxing, I'm about to go get me some dip that I made. Y'all, growing up, my aunt and my grandmother used to make this dip. It was um, clam dip, but it like it wasn't clam like clam chowder. Like they put clams in it, and um, it's the onion dip. Let me see if I can find it because I have what I put it. Yes, okay. I do. Yes, I do. Okay, it's this. And it's sour cream, and it's these clam chunks. Um, I got it from like the, it was like a clam in a can, and I just opened it, and it was like clam bits in there. So it's clam, it's sour cream, and it's this. You mix it together. Oh, mg! It's basically like French onion dip with the clam stuff in it. And I grew up on that. And y'all, I got me some, and I made some. So I'm about to get into my dip. <laughs> Lay sponsor me. I'm about to get some. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. It's just like white with chunks. You want some chips? Cause I'm thick like that. Look what Mimi found. <laughs> it's as big as her head. <laughs> it's huge. Whoa. Oh no, I got the big one. You found the big one? Bite it. No, look, that's a normal chip. Put it by, put it together. Put it by this one. Let me see. Look at the difference. Lord. That one is, that one is big and that one is tiny. Yeah. Mmm. Big chips taste Whoa! better. Thin little chips. Hi, guys. I don't know what right now. Oh, Mimi is naked. But say hello. Hi. So what happened was, Guys. they can hear you. They can't see you because you're naked. No. <laughs> Guys. Okay, what, Buck? You wanna see my my friends? Your friends? Yeah, let's see your friends. So anyways, Mimi spilled juice all over her, so I took her shirt off because it was like all over her shirt. And I'm being a lazy mom, because you know sometimes mommies take bricks, don't come for her. And I haven't put a shirt on her yet. I think I'm just gonna put her in the tub because it's about that time. So there's no point in putting another shirt on her. Okay. Hi. Hello. Oh, your those are your kids. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I just got done editing, and I'm relaxing. I'm about to um. Actually, I I told y'all that I was gonna start watching Shameless, but I really started watching Walking Dead, which I'm obsessed with right now. So, I'm watching that, um, finishing that up. I can't get off of that to go watch Shameless right now. So, I'm going to have to wait till my season is up. Because I'm on season three. I think I'm at the end of season three. So, I'm about to be season four. Due time. In due time. I'll be over there in Shameless land. But, I am enjoying a drawbreaker. I got down to this part. The gum center. The gum middle. And, I'm just relaxing. After I edited the Get Ready With Me. I need to edit the vlog for today, but I was like, let me come say hey, 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 Tay Tay. Bar, <laughs> she is not a rapper, I swear. She's not. It comes to me, it like flows to me, you know what I'm saying? It gets me real greasy in the evenings when I'm sitting here looking at TV, not paying attention to me, me. <laughs> Anywho, oh, when is my album dropping? I told you guys that my album was dropping um, winter 2017. No, I said spring 2017. Well, it's backing up. It's backing up because it's so fire. Like, it's so legit that I can't give it to you all at once. Like, I'm going to have to back it up. I'm backing up the date. I know, oh, I know, I know, I know. Pushing back the date. Um... Fetty Wap wants to get on the track, so, you know, I had to do what I had to do for Fetty, because that's my boo, so I was like, you know what, <laughs> I'm going to do that for you, because I couldn't do it in spring, like, he needs time, he only has one eye, he needs time to write down 
the lyrics and stuff. Do I have something on me? More, a little bit more months than a normal rapper would need. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just give you the whole season, boo. You got the whole season. So spring and fall, he'll be, you know, getting in in the studio. And um, after that, I'll release it. I released the winter 2017, so look out for that, you know, because your girl got them skills. Your girl shuts it down, you know what I'm saying, for Philly. <laughs> I'm in there, like, swimwear. I got it. But, um, enough about me and my rapping skills. I need to talk to y'all about Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj. But I'm not even going to talk to y'all in this vlog. I'm going to talk to y'all probably tomorrow if I remember. I was trying to wait it out because I really wanted Nikki to say something back. And I put um, I put a video up. And in that video, I told you guys that it was going to get copyrighted. So I didn't want to leave it up too long. I still have it up on my channel. I'll show you guys. But I made it private. Mm. It's right there. But I made it private because... I had enough comments. All I really wanted from that video was just you guys' like opinions on the whole beef situation. And I got a whole bunch of comments. So I'm going to sit and make a video about that and talk to y'all about my opinion. But come on, Nikki. Like, I was holding out on the video because I'm like, I know she's going to come with the fire. She's going to come with the spit. Okay? She's going to come with all of that breath. All of that, but she's not coming with nothing. It's looking like she's about to do a meek. That's exactly what it's looking like. But you know what? It is what it is. So I'm not waiting on you too much longer, Nikki. I have to get my opinions out there. I gotta get my, my point across of how I'm feeling. How my brain's soaking up all this goodness that Remy spit out, soaking up everything she said. But in you who I'm digressing and going all the way left as usual. So I'm just gonna say good night. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Comment below because I'll comment back. And thumbs up this video. Give me some likes, some love, some hugs. That's that's y'all hugs to me. Some likes. I I feel loved. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'll see y'all in another video tomorrow. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll with these videos. <laughs> Trying to keep it up and get her what? Her life. Love y'all. Treat every day like it's your ass. Slay girl. Stay beautiful. Bye. I swear I'ma get it, gotta go and get it, ain't no other option.